Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy, Double A, Nine Skills, and welcome, welcome to this player review of Man of the Match, Neymar, the left winger, 87 overall. His Man of the Match card came out last night, and I was able to get my hands on him. We'll talk about that in just a second. We look at his in-game stats, 97 ball control, 95 dribbling, 95 finishing, 86 long shot, 80 passing, 87 penalties his dribbling really stood out to me because his dribbling was a 95 uh, i love players with high dribbling you can see his uh, his agility his his acceleration his sprint speed he's super fast neymar is so damn fast so his man of the match came out yesterday because he he had a, a wonderful game uh in for brazil against japan he scored an absolute screamer and I wanna, I wanna thank Bateson87, his link will be in the description down below, but because of him, I was able to get my hands on the Man of the Match card so quick, so big shout out to him, his link in the description down below. And also while you're down there, make sure to check out UT Coin Traders, they got cheap reliable coins, their link is down there as well. So, I got my hands on him, he plays the left wing position, skilling with him is crazy, skilling with Neymar is absolutely a beautiful thing. Now, the one thing that really kind of blew my mind with Neymar was that at the time that I was reviewing him, he was selling for more than 3 million on the Xbox. 3 million coins in the left wing position. So I was thinking to myself, if I'm going to waste a few million on a player and he's a left wing, would not pick up Ronaldo instead? That was just my theory, but it, it, the one thing about Neymar is I think this man of the match card is 100% an improvement from his inform, from his regular. It's it's a, I think it's way better. I think his shot is amazing. I think his pace is improved. I think everything about him is better, but he's a winger. See, his in his his inform card is a striker, isn't it? I'm pretty sure his inform card is in the striker position. And I like that better. I like Neymar more central. I don't like him out on the left wing. I actually attempted to put him in the striker position for one game. So uh, we went into extra time, it was like the hundred and like fifth minute, or it was like the hundred and four, the hundred and first minute, and I decided to change him from left wing, put him in the striker position, and he actually won the game for me because I moved him there. You can actually see right there, that score 105th, because I put him in the striker position, I felt like I could abuse his pace in the front and his skill moves, and it worked out better than having him on the wing. So having him on the wing, I feel like he's a bit wasted. Left wing's not so bad, maybe play him, I would recommend if you buy this card, play him in the left forward position in a 4-3-2-1. I think that would be the best formation for him. But if you're going to waste f more than 500k on Neymar, I recommend you getting his just his inform striker card. It's it's such a good card. This card's better, yes, but I think him being on the wing is his downfall. So, I would recommend getting the striker inform card. So, one thing that really disappointed me now, one thing that really really got me was I was disappointed he was a left wing, but what really disappointed me was what what EA did with him, see, he scored the goal, or he got this man of the match for playing for for Brazil against Japan, and he scored an absolute screamer. Now, this happened one day ago, so one day ago means he's signed for Barcelona already. He belongs to Barcelona. He's already you already seen him with the Barcelona kit on. They already they already showed him to the fans. He's a Barcelona player. So when he scored this goal for Brazil, when he played this great game for Brazil, he's a Barcelona player. So. This man of the match card should have been a Barcelona card, not a Santos card. So let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me. I was very, very disappointed that he wasn't a Barcelona player. And if he was a Barcelona, if it was a Barcelona man of the match card of Neymar, then I think, you know, you're talking a couple million. But since he's just a Santos player and, and he's on the left wing, I would never pay the amount of money he's going for. Right now, when I saw, when I was reviewing him, he was going for three million. I think he'll drop for somewhere in between the 1.5 million to two million. I think that's what he'll drop to. I'm not sure if he will, but I think he will. So if you're, if you're interested in Neymar, pick yourself up the striker. I think he's a better, uh, a better, a better fit in the central of the field. If you want him for a winger position, then I guess he's worth it. I mean, he's he's definitely great. It's a great card, but I think you want Neymar more central. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this player review. A big shout out to Bates, and I was able to get this for this review for you guys. Thank you so much. And Neymar is sick, but he just costs way too much money. So with that, to the top right, some more FIFA videos. To the bottom right, some Minecraft. Hit that yellow button to subscribe, and I will continue to try to get my hands on players quickly so I can review them for you guys because I know you guys love reviews so i'm your boy double a nine skills you're not like you and i'm out of here that's a booyah baby y'all be safe Whee!